Hey friends and welcome back. Let me make sure oh thought I, my extra light wasn't on. Hold on. Let's get some light going. Okay, so today I wanted to do some recipe planning. My first recipe plan. If you follow me on um, Instagram, you'll see that I did a recipe page and I was just really like playing around with it. So I wanted to show you all the process of how I did it. So I just take one of these day date, um, today's focus pages and I just did a flip through of this. I'm loading a video of how I set up my mini planner. So I have these here and here is, so I saved these so I could do a recipe plan plus I see this is going to be a regular uh, in my cooking repertoire. Let me see if it fits there. Oh wow, it fits there too. Okay, so let me get started. So pretty much what I did, I just used some white out. Let's go ahead and white out date. And my white out would not be working. Y'all, I think I'm out of white out. I think there's something. Hold on.
slow cooker cracked chicken. I'm trying to be a little better with my handwriting. Okay, slow cooker cracked chicken. And actually, I'm going to have to get the other one to see. So here we're going to put ingredients. I need to find a... I'm going to go ahead and put a smiley face on here because it is delicious. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> I can just tell it's going to be delicious, okay? So I'm going to take one of these work stickers here. It's yellow. I'm going to cut it and leave this as my ingredients. I don't really need work stickers, but I'm gonna leave that right there, just in case. Here will be ingredients. Ingredients, so these are ingredients. Here, we'll put the ingredients down here. I don't know why these stickers are on a stick. It's like sticky, but it won't stick to that. Ingredients. You know, this will not stick. It's amazing how when you, you're not trying to do something, you can do it, and then when you try it, it's crazy. Ingredients. Okay. Slow cooker chicken ingredients. And then let's take another work sticker. Gonna cut that. These are the perfect stickers for me to cut up because like I said, I don't have to use I don't really use those ingredients. Oh, keep Messing it up. Ingredients. Should do the macros. Let's see if that'll come up. This is going to be the macros. Ingredients will be up here. I just don't understand why this tape ain't sticking. Ingredients will be up here. Now yeah, think about it, I should have flipped it upside down, but oh well. So ingredients I already know are chicken breast. We need, um, <clears throat> cream cheese and you need two eight ounces of that this is two pounds of chicken cream cheese you need bacon and I think it's a half a pound cream cheese oh ranch pack um, packet and you need two of those so what I'm doing I'm in this planner basics I'm still in the planner basics I'm going to get those little um, I just saw them dots here we go and I'm going to get the yellow ones there. You know, I think I got a Planner Basics Mini because the mini dies would probably work best. Mini. Mm 
I think those are too big. But we're just going to place them anyway. So those are the four things that you need because it only it's only four things. And when I say simple to do, it's simple to do. I just made it. So instead of 6 a.m., we're going to go back to another work sticker. To do. Let's find another work sticker. Sticker. So we got to make this work. <laughs> flip this one if it'll stick I'm gonna flip it upside down and put instructions and this is so easy to make you guys instructions so I came into my I've already used that my meal planning I'm looking for like a yellow Oh, it says prep. How cool is that? We're gonna stick that right here. I wish they wouldn't have made these in um, such colorful ones that says buy. I'm going to take this buy sticker here because I'm not buying anything. I'm going to cut that one where it says buy. And those are gonna be my instructions. So it's a little different than the one that I did, but like I said, I was just kinda creating on the fly. Since we have here so slow cooking let me look for that yellow pot I think it's a yellow crock pot yeah there we go yellow crock pot should I do a yellow crock pot there should I put it here I'm gonna put it here Okay, and we need something to cover this up. I just saw something. It was like a instructions. If that wasn't clear, only because here we go. Here's another. I'm just going to slap that right across there. Then here we're going to put something. We need to cover that up. We need like a yellow. Okay, a heart. Here's a yellow heart. macros and I need to go to my planner for that so I can put in the macros and where is it this recipe is already in here but normally I'd go to my Pinterest and look and that's another thing one of my grocery stores in my area the um, service is terrible in there so I'm, when I go to go to my Pinterest and look for my ingredients that I need I can never get through it so let's put macros in right quick it's 410 calories and all of this is per serving 32 grams of fat four net carbs and 28 grams of protein I don't know how my battery's down already. So anything I need to get from the grocery store, I've, I already have everything, but I'll just put in chicken breast, 
just for the sake of this video. Bacon, which I already have bacon. I have the chicken breast. And uh, cream cheese. I did have to pick up cream cheese, though, when I first originally planned this. And ranch packets. And this is our instructions. So you're going to place chicken breast. And crock pot. Add packets, ranch packets, add cream cheese, both packets, add cream cheese, then you're going to just let cook for eight hours on low. Add crumbled bacon and stir. Optional. Down here in this little place where it says optional, I'll put um, microwave bacon and add broccoli. And that is the end, finally, of our recipe plan. So this was a little long. I'm sure some pieces will be cut out. But this is it, and this is how it looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more recipe planning. Um, if not, I won't do them. But I will have had planned to add them once a week. I haven't quite figured out the date. But let me know how you guys enjoy this. And let me know if you try this recipe. It's very simple, very easy to do. You have your chicken breast. You have cream cheese, bacon, and ranch. Four, four ingredients. Slow cooker. You're going to put your chicken breast in the bottom of the crock pot. It's about four chicken breasts. And then also I can link you to the uh, recipe. I'll leave the link and the link to my Pinterest in um, my description box. It's in my keto section. And that's what I can't find, my keto recipe sticker. I'll find it. And then once you're done all that, place chicken breast, add ranch packets, add your cream cheese, put the top on. You're going to let it slow cook for eight hours. Once it's almost done, you're going to add your crumble bacon. They say you can cook your bacon in a microwave. I'm not a fan of that. I'm going to cook mine on the stove. And then uh, crumble it up in and just stir everything together. Also, you're going to shred your chicken. Forgot that part. So that's it. Let me know if you guys tried this. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.